Hello, my beautiful fire signs. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Mars. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. For those of you that would like to subscribe to my channel, please make sure that you click on the uh, notification button or the little bell in the corner and you will be immediately notified when I post my videos. For those of you that are interested in a personal reading with me or a subscription to my website, you can go to the link below and purchase a subscription or a personal reading. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's get started on these um, energies that are going on for you for the next couple of weeks. This reading is from the, um, the 18th of December until about the 1st of January. And also, I would like to thank all of my clients out there that have purchased readings from me in the year of 2017. Thank you so much for your support and your wonderful patronage. All right, let's get started with the beautiful Aries. Hi, Aries. What do we got going on for you for the next couple weeks? Aries, Aries, Aries. Aries. All right, Aries. Cutting the deck. Here is your first card, Aries, and here is your second card. And what is the Energy Oracle card? This, these uh, um, cards are by Sandra Ann Taylor. What is the Energy Oracle card for Aries? Energy Oracle card for Aries. There it is, Aries. Okay, Aries, what do we got going on for your energies for the next couple weeks? You do have the King of Cups. With the King of Cups, this is a person who is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio person. They have great significance for you in the next couple weeks for whatever reason. You could be working with them. They could be working with you. This could be a love interest. Uh, you could have loving feelings towards them. They could have loving feelings towards you. This person is keeping their cards close to their chest for whatever reason or they're simply dealing with a lot of things in their life right now. They want to give you some time, but perhaps they don't have a lot of time to offer, or perhaps you're very busy and you don't have a lot of time to offer them. This is someone who generally owns their own business as well. So this could be what's going on here. Psychic abilities might be of great significance for you for whatever reason. Uh, there could be something going on as it relates to trip over water, a trip over the seas. So you could be traveling. Uh, that could be coming up as well. And for some reason, Aries, you are quite busy and you do have a lot of stuff going on, but it does appear that you are staying afloat for whatever reason. This Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person could be of great significance to you as it relates to your money, your job, your career, your love life, or your family life. So please just be aware of that energy. What do we have going on for your other energy for the next couple weeks? You do have the Two of Swords. When you have the Two of Swords, just like I picked up, like somebody's keeping their cards close to their chest, they're kind of in a stalemate, there's no movement forward, there's no movement backward, it's simply staying as is. Things are afloat, but there's not a whole heck of a lot of movement right now. It does appear that after the, um, the new moon on January 18th in Capricorn, there might be something significant uh, developing at this point in time for you or for this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So please be aware of that as well, Aries. Uh, there could be a need for you to kind of go within to utilize the senses without having the sense of sight, okay? So it's almost like you need to close your eyes and feel what's going on around you, feel the energy around you. What is happening? What is going on with this person? Why are they acting the way that they're acting? This could be happening for some of you out there. Something significant is happening right after the new moon, I will say that, or actually right before the new moon as well. Um, there's definitely something here where there is a level of isolation. So either this Pisces Cancer Scorpio is kind of going into an isolation phase, or you could be going in an isolation phase around this Pisces Cancer Scorpio person. 
but there's definitely some of that energy going on here. Let me see if I'm picking anything else up psychically. I'm actually getting that song for every season, turn, turn, turn. There is a reason, turn, turn, turn. Um, you know, a time to be born, a time to die. So there's something about the cycles of life that are happening to some of you Aries right now. You could be starting a new job, you could be starting school, uh, somebody around you could be starting a job or starting school. So there's definitely some sort of energy going on here, but there, there's more information that's needed and you're waiting for this information, but it's not being revealed to you just yet. So just be patient. Uh, right around after the new moon in Capricorn, you should get some information coming to you regarding the situation. So what do we have going on as it relates to the other energy around you? Door to romance. So when you have the door to romance, uh, Aries, there's something going on here where a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person could be playing a significant role as it relates to your loving feelings for them, their loving feelings for you. This could be a child. This could be a loved one. This could be a business partner. For some of you Aries out there, there could be a business partner where you find out that they have loving feelings for you. Um, but I'm just sensing right now for some of you Aries out there, you're not willing to go there. You're just not willing to um, open up your heart to anyone. So this is certainly coming through here. For other Aries out there, there's a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person in your life, uh, whether they're male or female, that is showing um, feelings for you. Uh, they may be approaching you, asking you out on dates, so on and so forth. But again, Aries, I just feel like there's something off about this. You feel like you need more information and that would probably be in your best interest. Uh, for others of you Aries out there, you could be approaching this person and they have their sword in front of their heart saying, I am not gonna be hurt again. I am not gonna go through this again. I was honest with you. I was loving with you. I tried to be clear in my communication with you. You put me on the side, you put me on the back burner, and now I'm gonna do the same to you. This could be something that you're going through, Aries, for whatever reason. Uh, this could be, too, where there is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio around you that is trying to make a decision, and that decision is going to affect your love life. All right, so please be aware of that. But there is, it does appear there is some sort of romance coming to you or from you in the next couple weeks. So please be prepared for that energy. And also, please be prepared for any type of response that you get. Whether you get a response or you don't get a response, you are going to get an answer and you will probably have the information you need to make a decision after the 18th of January. All right, guys, I hope you like this reading. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste. Hi, Leos. How are you? Whoa. You just had a card fly out, so I am going to keep it. There is the first card. What is the second card for Leos? What is the second card for Leos for the energy for the next couple weeks? Okay. I'm going to cut the deck, Leos. Here is your second energy. And what is the energy oracle card information for you, Leo's energy oracle card? This deck is by Sandra Ann Taylor. There it is. All right, Leo's, what have we got going on for you for the next couple weeks? Leo's, for you, you do have the Judgment card. I believe you are the fourth or the fifth sign to get Judgment. This means that uh, Saturn is getting ready to deliver karma to you, to someone around you, um, but it is coming. Either you're delivering it because you have to pay back the karma or you have a karmic debt that you need to pay back as well. So this could affect you positively, negatively, whatever it is. For some Leos out there, there is a rejuvenation 
of something in your life. Something is coming up from the dead and it is being reborn or it's getting an opportunity to be looked at one more time before you move forward. This could have something to do with the health field. This could have something to do with hospitals. This could have something to deal with um, music for some reason. So for some of you Leos out there, if you put your musical instrument down and you haven't picked it up lately, you might just you know, go to your guitar case or go to your violin case and start playing this instrument again because you feel like it helps you think, it helps you to keep your, um, helps you to keep your, your energy centered and it helps you to think more clearly. So that could be a type of meditation for some of you out there. For some Leos out there, somebody around you or yourself could be on call for whatever reason, whether that's in the health field or any other type of on-call situation, it is coming through here. For others of you out there, this could be uh, Archangel Gabriel waking you up for some reason. I did get this for Taurus too, that there is something happening where some of you Leos out there are being put on notice. You're getting a notice, you're giving a notice. So something could be going on here where you might be giving your notice at work. Uh, you might be giving a two week notice saying, I'm getting ready to leave. Here's my two week notice for my uh, removal from you know, this, this job. This could also be where uh, there, you get a notice at work where you're put on notice, meaning that for some of you Leos out there, there could have been something that happened at work. Uh, somebody found out about it. And now you and perhaps others are being put on notice that you need to toe the line or we're going to terminate. So you might be um, in a situation where you're under temporary suspension or there could be something going on relative to some new rule or regulation around you that is going to be changing your life. So please be aware of that. If it's not happening to you, Leo, it could be happening to somebody around you. But there is a level of communication this is waking things up from their stupors. Um, something could be happening here where um, you are going to place judgment on a situation or somebody's going to place judgment on you. This could have something to do with a court case as well. So please be aware of that. So what do we have going on as it relates to your other energy, Leos? You do have the Five of Cups. When you have the Five of Cups, Leos, there's something that either you did or either something somebody else did where they feel very sorry about it, they're very regretful, and they're remorseful. This could be, Leos, for some of you, you may have judged somebody incorrectly. You may have um, positioned yourself to uh, align yourself with someone, and it turned out that was not the best alignment for you. For others of you out there, somebody may have aligned themselves with you, and it turns out that that was not the best alignment for them. But there is judgment being handed down through Saturn and Saturn through institutions, regulations, uh, family life, love life, you know, girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands, wives, children that's coming through here. And there is a level of regret and loss. So there is something definitely coming up here. For some of you out there, you may get communication regarding somebody that you know, a friend, a loved one, whatever. And you might be hearing that they have moved on and you are like, I can't believe that this is happening. Okay, so that could be what's going on for some of you Leos. It's almost like you lost your chance. Okay, so that is coming up here. Now, let's look at it from a different perspective, Leos. This could be somebody coming up to you and saying, I am so sorry. I, I, I did not do what I should have done for you. I do apologize. Um, let's work through this let's make it right. And something is going to happen where there is some sort of judgment. There's some sort of judgment call. There's some sort of notice that you're getting where there is a level of loss, but it's not an entire loss. It's almost like a percentage gain and a percentage loss. So it's, it's almost like you kind of have to, it's kind of six of one half, do, half dozen of the other, but it looks like in this case, it's like seven of one and you know, five of the other or eight of one and four of the other. But overall, please make sure that you're looking at the positives in this situation. It does appear that karma is being delivered and perhaps this is the, that last blow of karma that you are going to be dealing with at the present time. If it is not happening to you, Leos, it is happening around you. Again, like I said, you may be placing judgment on a situation and it is affecting others this way. 
For others of you, others could be putting judgment on you and it could be affecting you this way. So that could be what's going on. So what is your energy oracle card, Leos? You do have appreciation. So what's going on here, Leos, is that perhaps some of you Leos out there didn't appreciate somebody enough or somebody didn't appreciate you enough. And because of this, there is karma that must be delivered. Okay, please make sure, Leos, that you are appreciating people around you. You love people around you. People have, who have supported you, you're continuing to support them. Uh, there could be something going on here where somebody gives you an inside scoop. All right, somebody has prepared you for something that you could be facing. And they have done their work. They've prepared you. They've given you the messages. They've given you without actually telling you. They have prepared you for what it is that you're going to be dealing with so you can handle it better. And because of that, there should have been appreciation that was extended to this person. Okay, so even though things might not be going so well for you, you are appreciating the people that have supported you in your life. If something's not going so well for somebody else, they are appreciating you for what you've brought in their life. But whatever this inside track is, I'm, I'm definitely sensing for some of you Leos, certain people's true colors are going to come shining through. And one of those people that you judged, one of those people that you let out of your life, that you decided to talk ill about them behind their back, cause drama, whatever, you are realizing that that person was innocent and that person was someone that you should have kept in your life. For others of you out there, this could, have been, this could be somebody doing that towards you as well. They realized that they misjudged you. They realized that they, um, you know, they, they didn't appreciate you the way that you needed to be appreciated. And because of that, now they are sorry and now they are having to deal with the karma that gets levied upon them by Saturn as well. All right, Leos, I do wish you the best. And this is generally going to probably be in your fifth house because your fifth house is Sagittarius and Saturn is just now leaving Sag. So Leos, this is definitely coming up for some of you. There could be a small loss. Uh, some of you might be trying to sell a home. Um, you're trying to get your home to appreciate, not depreciate. And what's happening here is there is a level of loss. It's not an entire loss. It may not be everything that you wanted, but it is a, a positive um, amount. Nonetheless, there is a percentage gain here. There is a percentage appreciation here. So don't, um, don't get too down on yourself as it relates to this particular type of information. This could also be for some of you Leos out there, you're giving somebody a gift for uh, Christmas and they don't appreciate it the way that they should appreciate it. You know what, Leos, send your love, your, your, your leadership to everyone and say, you know what, you may not like it, you may like it, um, but I gave this to you with love and compassion in my heart and I'll let the universe handle whatever karma you've just created for yourself because I'm gonna stay happy, all right? So that could be what's going on. Um, as it relates to love though, there is some sort of regret with love and since it is the Five of Cups and Saturn is in your fifth house, there is something that was lost or there is a level of regret or remorse in this particular area of your life. Um, or there's just a loss of money as it relates to your partnership for whatever reason. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for listening. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. How are you? It is B. What do we got going on for you for the next couple weeks, Sages? What's going on with you for the next couple weeks? Sages, next couple weeks for Sages. Next couple weeks for Sages. All right, Sages. We're going to cut the deck. Your first card, Sag, is this one, and your second card is this one. What do we have going on for your energy oracle card, Sag? Energy oracle card. I hope you guys are going to get a good message here because my sister's been through the ringer and she's a Scorpio Sag. And I know a lot of it is because Saturn has been in your first house. But let's see what happens here. Okay, Sages. Energy Oracle card for Sages. 
All right, Sag, there it is. So Sag, what do we have going on for the next couple weeks for you? We do have the Seven of Cups. So what's going on here right now, Sag, is that you have a lot of options for whatever reason. You could be dating multiple people. Um, there could be situations where you really don't know who you can trust. It seems like everything around you looks like everything's hunky-dory, but you feel there's something underneath the surface that you know is not right. You know there's something you don't know, okay? So you, it might be a good idea for you to do a little bit of research, um, probably up until about the 8th of January, 7th or the 8th of January, so that you can get the information that you need in order to make a decision moving forward. There could be a lot of options regarding Christmas gifts. There could be a lot of options regarding people to date. There could be a lot of options regarding uh, potential job offers as well. So this could be what's going on. I just heard there's a black horse. So please be aware that there could be a black horse that is of great significance to you for whatever reason. This could be a black horse, meaning somebody's coming up from the way in the back and they're gonna win the race. This could be a physical black horse, okay? So something could be happening here uh, with that as well. Try to keep things um, very stable, very centered, very organized, because you are going to get a lot of stuff that comes in out of the blue for you to handle in the next couple weeks. A lot of busyness, so try to stay focused and organized. So what do we have going on as it relates to your other energy for the next couple weeks? You do have the Four of Wands. When you have the Four of Wands, this particular type of um, energy, this distracting energy, this busyness energy is definitely coming from the home. There could be many parties, many house parties you need to go to, many home parties, Christmas parties, going to going here, going there, um, doing introductions, doing presentations, whatever it is. They're, they're welcoming you very much so, okay? Or you're welcoming them into your life as well. But there is something going on here related to a reunion. Um, again, the, the, the particular itinerary might be a little bit scattered. So try to make sure that you put things together as best you can. For some of you Sagittarians out there, you could be proposing to somebody over Christmas. Um, it's part of the Christmas gifts, so to speak. You're meeting um, your significant other's parents or their family for Christmas, or you could be meeting theirs. But this is definitely coming up as well. Um, for some reason, you're excited for somebody to come home, whatever that means for some of you Sagittarians out there. So what do we have going on as it relates to your energy oracle card? Caring connections. You had the same card, I believe, as, was it Gemini and Capricorn? I think they both got caring connections or something like that. But what's going on here, Sages, is that you know there might be a Capricorn person that is of significance to you. It could be a family member, a mom, a dad, a brother, a sister, a, a niece, a nephew, a child, something like that. It could be a loved one as well. But there's definitely some sort of energy going around, Sages, where you are trying to bring people together in a family unit. You're trying to make things more like family. You're trying to bring romance back into your life. You're trying to decide who it is you want to bring into your life. You're trying to decide on a home. Should I purchase a new home? Should I go into partnership with this bank? Should I get a loan from this bank? Should I get a loan from this bank? Should I take this job? Should I take that job? There's a level of discernment that is needed in the next couple weeks. I would highly advise that you do your research between now and the 8th of January. And then after the 18th of January, when we have our new moon in Capricorn, then you can make your decision from then on out. All right, Sages, I hope that you like this reading. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.